Welcome to my video um, and today we're going to be doing a paint with me. So what I just showed you was the sketch obviously and I actually did the sketch straight onto watercolour paper because when I was like before I started doing the painting I was like I want to do a painting of a garden and I want to do it on like a bigger piece of paper to what I'm used to so that was that was a three piece of paper, watercolour paper that I'm using inks as you saw. So this painting, this painting of a like a garden or a park, garden park, I don't know, it's more of a park. Um, but there's lots of like little kind of creepy secret things in there and throughout the video. Hopefully if I did everything right you would like notice some of these things. I will go more on, on that later. So yeah, so some of the things that are more not so secret that are in this garden park is obviously that maze. I'm actually really proud with how the maze turned out. I was kind of nervous, um, but I think it's the best part. The, the best part that worked out the nicest in this painting. It's the first thing I did. Um, there's my cat. His name's Smudge. Um, sometimes he gets in like a really affectionate mood and it's a little creepy. Um, that day he was in a very affectionate mood and actually had to stop recording because he was just trotting around my room meowing. But he's kind of like nervous affectionate. I'm not really sure. It's, it's a little weird. I'm not really sure what to think about it. Oh, and I also, wait, let me just tell you the main thing, the most obvious but kind of interesting things in the garden. That's what I was trying to tell you before and I forgot. So we have the maze, we have a tower, we have a stone wall, which runs across half the garden park, but that's, there's nothing really special about that. And then we have a statue garden. We have a lake, which is, there's nothing special about that either. And then we have a giant bird cage. Okay, um, what I was saying before was, so while I was painting, actually no, I'm not going to say that yet. <laughs> so, first off, this painting took me a long time. Like, it took me way longer than needed to. I did go on a hike halfway through, and that hike was four days. So, obviously that took out nearly a week of my time. Because I started painting this not long after I posted my last video. I don't know when that was, but it was... I feel like I took a, nearly three weeks to do this. By the end, I was pretty tired, and it's a, it was one of those paintings when it never really looks like it's finished, but you don't know what you can do to make it better, and you could just, like... You could paint literally every single leaf, and it will still not look finished. I didn't end up doing that, by the way. I, I could not do that, and I think it would actually look worse if I painted every single leaf, but yes. Um, and now what I was trying to say before was while I was watching, I mean, while I was painting, I watched two movies. You know, I switched between watching movies, listening to music and watching YouTube. But the first movie I watched was, I think, Heaven Help, Heaven Help Us. Um, it's an older movie. Um, luckily, I could watch it on YouTube for free. I was so grateful for that because I just love it when that happens because we don't have any streaming services. And it's basically about these boys, it's kind of set back in the day, I don't know when, but in the olden day, older days. And there was like a boys college, Christian boys college, and it's just about the boys. And I don't know, I liked it. It's kind of funny, just because it's just like teenage boys and they're just like doing the stupid things that boys do. And I just think that's entertaining, <laughs> I don't know. And then the second movie I watched was Quarterback Princess. I think I liked Heaven Help Us more. They were both pretty good. If you watched, if you've seen Quarterback Princess, I really wish she, um, hang on, I'm gonna get like the character list up because I'm so bad with names. I can't tell which ones is the actors. Okay, no. <laughs> the main character, Tammy, she ended up dating Scott, but I wish she dated 
the one maybe I'll just insert a picture of him okay hopefully if you've watched the movie you know what I'm talking about that took way longer than it should have um but I wish Tammy dated him not Scott because I really did not like Scott he just annoyed me And now I've been yapping about things that are not related to this video and I'm sorry if that is annoying but when I watch videos of artists I just like I like watching art videos because I like hearing people talk while I'm doing my art so it's kind of like entertaining that little part of my brain you know let me okay now I'm gonna <laughs> okay now I'm gonna talk more about the the picture okay one thing I nearly forgot to say but I think it's kind of important to mention or I want to mention is so with the trees I kind of messed up so I made the like the outline of the trees leaves so each tree has its like bushy part um I made that the darkest bit and I just I kept on doing that and then I was like this looks really bad but I was always already too late so I looked at references. I totally did it backwards. So when you look at like a forest or just like someone else's painting of a forest, the outline of the trees bushes is the lightest part and then the center is so the darkest because that's where the foliage is the thickest and the sun is coming down from the top. I'm so annoyed I messed it up, but I'm glad I, I know. And um, I tried to do it backwards and they also just got like, went really dark with some bits. And I think in the end it turned out okay, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, it's one of the things I learned from this painting. And I think it's actually a good thing to learn because I always struggle with drawing pants, plants anyway. So, yeah. So, you might have noticed a few things, I'm not sure. I don't think you would have you would have quite yet. But the main reason I wanted to paint this picture, I I think my red flag is that I love cats so much and when I'm older and I have my own house, I would most definitely have at least five cats. And yes, that is definitely a red flag of mine, but I embrace it because I've always just been destined to be a crazy cat lady. Anyway, so then I was like, okay, I really want to do a picture of like a garden park and it's full of cats. Like it's run by cats. It's a cat garden. Um, so I have hidden like lots of cats throughout in the garden and I don't think I filmed painting a single one of them. So you don't know where they are, but if you find them, I don't know if I'm going to even get enough people viewing this for this to work. But if you watch this video and if you see the cats, can you just either try and find as many cats as you can and you can say it in the comments or if that is a little, that might be me being a bit ambitious, but like just try and find as many cats as you can. And I will like give you a full shot. Like I will show you the full painting so you actually can see. So you actually have a shot of finding all the cats. It shouldn't be that hard. And there is a snake there. So there's just a few other creepy things. Um, don't worry, the snake is not going to eat my kitties. They're, it's just like... I was actually originally going to do like a skate snake. 
I was originally going to do a snake skeleton coming out of the tree, but then I thought I would do just a normal skull. Okay, so here are the final results. I hope you find all the cats. I'll tell you in the description how many cats there are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the painting. I hope you found the cats and thank you so so much for watching. Okay, bye